Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Tarot Talk Funny. Guys, today it's Wednesday dito sa America. So, schedule ng cleaning ng pool namin dito. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano nila nililinisan, kung paano itinitreat yung swimming pool. So, let's go guys, puta tayo sa labas. Yeah, my YouTube. <laughs> so, that's the filter. Yeah, that one? Uh, uh, it's just the ah, okay, leaf catcher. Okay. Yung brown yung brown na chemicals for the parasites. Yeah, anything that's growing in the water. So that's the one, that's the role of the brown chemical. And then the white one. It's chlorine. Both of them keeps the water clear. Kaya clear yung water. Yes. And guys, now you need scrub your tiles. Para maalis yung dulas. Dun sa dulo, nasa 12 feet, no, honey? Yeah, yung pool, yung lalim ng pool sa dulo, nasa 12 feet. Siguro dito sa harap, siguro mga 4 feet lang ka, no? Ang four feet lang dito sa harap. Pero banda roon, medyo malalim na talaga. Yan, kanina binuhusan na siya ng acid at saka chlorine. Para maging clear na yung water. Tsaka mamatay yung mga parasite na nasa water. Anything growing in the water and then that's to clear okay, the pollen from the trees. Oo. Uh -oh. The dust, the dirt. So the maintenance is every Wednesday, no? So it's every Wednesday, mini maintain yung pool. The focus on the pool guy. He's half Filipino. Yeah, yung pool guy natin. It's half Filipino, half American yung daddy yan. White guy. Yeah. It's a JJ. Mami niya Filipina. And daddy niya puti. This one comes to company siya or individual? That's JJ's company. Ah. Company niya pala. You're dealing directly with the may-ari. Yeah. He's the may-ari ng company. Yeah, si JJ yung company owner. So, siya na rin yung gumagawa dito. Si That's Pagno. what they call owner-operator. Owner-operator. Yeah. Yeah. Sipag and sipag. That's right, right? Yeah. yeah. That's the chlorine tablet. That's a tablet. Then just let it inside the pool. Yeah, and then it just stays in there and then it dissolves. Mmm. Guys, see nyo. Ang linis, linis na. See? It's crystal blue na naman siya. Pero hindi siya pwedeng gamitin. After after 30 to 45 minutes sana. 30 minutes. After 30 minutes pa siya pwedeng gamitin. After siyang matreat. Guys, ayun. Tapos na nilinisan ng swimming pool. Na siguro nag-spend siya ng 15 to 20 minutes sa paglilinis. So, binabayaran siya ng $110 na ni per month. Ayun kasi para sa maintenance, para sa maintenance ng pool. Kasi kung kami ang gagawa, mahal din yung chemicals, di ba no? Expensive din yung chemicals. Parang bibili ka ng chemicals, $25. So, ilang beses, apat na beses sa isang buwan. So, it's almost the same. Kaya mas maganda na ipamaintain mo sa kanya. Kasi siya, siya yung may owner ng company. Mm. Kapag binili niya yung chemicals, it's cheaper. Kasi nabibili niya ng wholesale. 
Tapos sabi niya, today daw pang third pool niya na to. Kasi ang ang client niya daw, meron daw siyang 22 pools, swimming pools, na gagawin niya today hanggang tomorrow. So kami, pang tatlo niya pa lang kami. So dito daw sa street namin, meron pa daw lima. Lima siyang pupuntahan na lilinisan ng pool. Actually, ang linis. Ang linis na naman, pwede na naman mag-seaming. Kasi parang maraming alikabok ngayon, no? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maraming alikabok ngayon. Malikabok, kaya napunta sa tiles. Yun yung nilinisan niya. Tapos yung vacuum na nandoon, 24 hours yun. 24 hours na nagtatrabaho. Para uh, ma-vacuum niya yung buong pool. Yung tiles hindi madulas. Now the, the pool sweep runs maybe 3 or 4 hours a day. Ah, uh, three to four hours a day. Mm-hmm. Yung full zipper. Three to four hours a day. Ma, Ma- yung three to four hours na yon, matatapos yung buong pool. Yeah. So that's every day niya. Mm-hmm. Na trabaho. Yeah. Para ma maintain no, na malinis. Yeah. Then he makes sure that the filter. It's and working. The, and the pool pump. It's clean. It's clean, oo. Ayun, ganun yung ginagawa niya. So para... nothing gets bara. Mm-mm. Ayun guys, ganun. Ganun lang kung dito. So mahirap din may swimming pool sa bahay, no? Additional expenses. Then Friday, the gardener will come. So Friday. They'll show you what the gardener does. Ayun, so Friday naman daw, gardener naman daw yung darating. So yung gardener naman, sa front yard naman siya. So, he's gonna fix the bato-bato? No, 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 no. I do that. So, that's not his job? No. So, his job lang is the, to cut the grass? And, to maintain and the make grass? sure that there's no dirt or oranges or lemon or anything on the ground. And then he he sweeps everything in the front. Just just the front yard? Yes. How about the backyard? I don't let him do the backyard because if he blows something and it goes in the pool, now I have to clean the pool too. Ah, okay. So, yun. Sa front yard lang din, gardener. And then, how much do you pay the gardener? $40 every two weeks. So, $80 a month. So, $80 a month. But that's including all the chemicals for the weeds, mm-hmm. for any insects. Uh-oh. You get it? Uh-oh. Okay, fertilizer for the grass. Yeah, so he's putting fertilizer. Then that's why the you grass. notice our grass is really green, right? Yeah, that's why the grass are fair. Yes. Uh-oh. Ayan, nag-fertilizer pa pala yung mga damo. So, $80 ang gardener. But I can do that. No, you can't. It's easy. Okay, I'll show you how big he is. Huh? He's bigger than me and it takes him some to be long. Oh, sige. Let's okay, see. so that means you would take two, three days, right? Hmm. <laughs> Okay, but what you don't understand here is, okay, in America, if you make more money than than that, you're you're paying for your time. Yeah, for your convenience, no? Okay, so if, for example, I make $50 an hour. Mm. For eight hours, I make $400. Yeah. He takes only one hour to do that. It, t- it costs me $40. dollars mm So technically, for my one hour, I pay him and I still get ten dollars. Oh yeah. Does that make sense to you now? Yeah. Okay, like the pool guy. Okay, so the so if we go to Walmart and buy all the ingredients for the pool, uh-uh. it's about twenty or twenty-five dollars a week. Mm-hmm. Okay. Plus, let's say at minimum wage. Plus, let's say we pay him twenty dollars an hour. Twenty dollars an hour. Take him one hour. Oh. Uh-uh. So that's $45 for one hour. Oh. Okay, if I make $50 for one hour, I can pay him and still keep the $5, right? Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. You have to think about you have to think about your time. Because okay, now how much money will I lose? Kaya nga. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Let's say we're let's say we own an eBay business or Amazon business. Oh. Okay, so we're always on the computer. Now we evaluate it. That after we sell everything, we're making $250 an hour. Mm. Okay, but it costs him $40 to do the to the, the maintenance for the yard. Mm-mm. Oh, so if we pay him, 
we pay him, we're still making $210 an hour. <coughs> yeah. Does that make sense to you now? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's how that's how America thinks. It's not that we're lazy. We're not lazy. We're just thinking how we can make more money without stopping. Yeah. You can save time. Pa. Yes. Guys, ayun na nga. So, in short, time is gold dito sa America. Di ba? Okay, guys. Uh, I'll see you again sa next video ko. Bye.